There is no doubt that this central desert location is incredibly harsh and isolated, and it would be incredibly difficult to survive if you didn't understand the food sources, like the indigenous people that have lived here for tens of thousands of years do. The vegetation, the animals, it absolutely fascinates me. Here at Ayers Rock Resort, you can have another completely unique Central Australian experience after a morning of exploration and adventure. The gardens here are full of local bush tucker and the bush foods that have fulfilled the diets of local Indigenous people for millennia. Geneva has been gathering ingredients here for some time and jumped on the opportunity to show me around. Geneva, this is a pretty interesting plant. It's got these beautiful fruit. What's it called? This is a snotty gobble that we have here in the Alara. How did it get its name, snotty gobble? So basically it's got its name. So when you actually take a berry off the actual tree yeah. and then you actually peel back, it's got that snot looking and you're basically <laughs> popping it in, uh -huh. gobbling it back for yourself as okay, well. Okay, so what does it taste like? So basically when it's at its orange stages, I find it's got like a sweet apricot kind of taste, mm -hmm. but just a slimy apricot tasting to it. Tell me, this one down here is beautiful, but it's also highly, highly useful as well, right? Yes, it is. So this guy here is our grey cassia. So with the grey cassia, you can almost see on here, it's got almost like those green, almost looking snow pod seeds. Yes. But they're actually not snow pods, they're actually seed pods. When these seed pods actually go to a darker browner stage, yeah. they will actually develop seeds in the centre section. Then you're actually going to grind those seeds out at your kitchen cave using your jiwa. Grinding out the seeds, creating a powder, adding water, creating a dough. Basically similar to a Anzac textured type bread biscuit. Once you've learnt all about the tucker, it's time to head on inside for an Australian native high tea. That's right, this is a very popular activity for all tourists. Native inspired menus designed to immerse you in the rich flavours of traditional indigenous cuisine are offered to guests. It's a selection of sweet and savoury appetisers celebrating native ingredients. The menu has been curated by Chef Gracie and it uses ingredients like native finger limes and wattle seed. We are here at Uluru, so we try to keep everything really true to the location. We use an every um, food a native ingredient, so people from actually also Australia learn about their own plants and spices and all this country offers. So we have here some native rosella mousse, yeah. which on a crunchy base, and then a chocolate wattle seed truffle. Wattle seed is a grain which normally indigenous people use to make different kind of dampers. Yeah. And I've incorporated with a 70% dark chocolate, which brings this coffee nutty flavor really out of this uh, great product. Mm -hmm. And then we have here finger lime tart. Finger lime grows all over Australia. Yeah, scones are a, a big part of, of a high tea. But these are unique because they've got... The lemon myrtle in them. Oh, I yes. love it. What's your favourite from down the bottom? Our favourite thing on, on the savoury side is yeah. probably the lemon aspen baramundi tart. It's a hot tart. I, I was looking at the menu. There are so many different teas in yes. their collection as well. Red Centre, Desert Sunrise, that's the Desert Sunrise. That's the sunrise. Desert Sunrise, this is the Red Centre. Yeah. Super vibrant colours as, as well as in flavour. Well, there you go. The perfect Arvo wind down after a morning of adventure. Now I'm fuelled for an evening of more wonder and culture right here in the red centre of Australia.